Angela Anton is smudging so she can keep her words positive as she speaks her truth. Ground cedar. It's been a few days since she says she saw an assault of a First Nations woman and her seven-year-old son. He grabbed, he yanked her bag and he wound up to go and hit her and he actually like punched her. Eh? He, like you could hear that that when he struck her like in the mouth and I was just like, what the hell is happening? Like she went on to say the son was pushed into a vending machine. It happened inside this store in an area in Winnipeg that's home to a large Indigenous community. As an Ojibwe woman herself, she believes this was a racial profiling situation. No respect for Indigenous people, you know? Like, there are people out there with problems, but, you know, we don't, we, we still have to go into the store to buy our bread and our milk and stuff. Just... Manitoba's Grand Chief is in agreement and says systemic discrimination needs to stop. It's unfortunate that it's 2024 and that still happens to our people. And that's not right. She says her organization is fed up with this type of treatment and are taking a hard stance because of this incident. Well, we're, we're a big economy as First Nation people, and, uh, and people have to realize that. Uh, AMC's Jordan's principal program gives vouchers to hundreds of families every month to get groceries here. Until now, she says they have terminated their working relationship with food fair. The store owners say this was a shoplifting matter and dealing with incidents like this can be complex. Winnipeg police have confirmed they received the report on the matter and are investigating. In a statement put out by the store, owners said they have suspended the staff member in question pending an investigation. The owners also went on to say, going forward, this is an opportunity for education, growth and repair. Their next steps, reaching out to Indigenous organizations to give their staff some cross-cultural training. And uh, we'll talk about the medicine wheel. Coincidentally, Antoine, who witnessed the alleged assault, just happens to do that already as the Director of Indigenous Services at the Behaviour Health Foundation. We do cultural sensitivity training with Winnipeg police and cadets and 911 callers, I mean 911 operators and stuff like that. Once she's processed what she witnessed, she's hoping to take the store owners up on their offer. T.R. Wheatley, APTN National News, Winnipeg.